Like, this is this song here is the quintessential Western Australian citizenship test. Like, you have to, re- to, to become a Western Australian citizen, you have to reproduce this song with your vocal cords, musical instruments included. Like, you know, and you have to try to, like, replicate like, this. It has this to sound like a magpie. Like Black, green, barrels, red wine. You know, it's, you get smoke clouds hang in the air. <laughs> Power to touching. Oh, it's too powerful. It's too powerful. Look at him shifting. Look at him fucking shifting. Yeah, we we, we kind of went the wrong way. Google, Google don't got no bullshit. Yeah, we, we're going Look, the wrong this way. This is a pilgrimage to Taco Bell. I'm like Ulysses right now. Yeah, he is. Except instead of killing Cyclops, I'm killing my bowels. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell by the Midnight Oil song that's playing, we're definitely going to Hinky Dinky Australia. What do you think Midland is most famous for? I'd imagine Midland is the wonderful meeting of hipsters and hobos. That's right. my imagination of it. You think that or it's your average Australian mum, which given the famous Karen Chungus was a Perthly. Oh wow. Seems quite popular. Yeah, there is. Bear witness the out of focus Taco Bell in all of its glory. It's a cinematic shot, guys. Hi, guys. Kuminor the cameraman here. Huge big shout out to Rode for completely screwing up this episode of Loom's Lunches. But don't worry. This guy right here has a solution for everything. He's halfway through his crunch wrap. So... My quote-unquote solution was basically to record things multiple months after the fact and now I can't even remember what the food is called let alone how it tastes but I'm sure I can make an enjoyable food experience for you guys now um, and apparently uh, autistically fidget in a line at a Taco Bell a lot okay so when I was at the Taco Bell I decided to try and get everything that I could get um, I'm pretty sure there was something called a crunch wrap uh, there was obviously the taco, and something I think called a quesadilla, or enchilada, I can't remember. Uh, you, you'll see in a second, it took me a few minutes to figure out what I needed. Okay, I, I've looked I looked through some scrap uh, footage, and I believe I have consumed in this video uh, one taco, one burrito, and one quesadilla. So that is what I will be reviewing, I believe, at the one and only Midland Taco Bell. Things I liked about Midland Taco Bell. Free drinks. Architecture. Midland. Thus concludes things I like about Taco Bell. Okay, so I picked up my meal hotel star with a little buzzer thing. And I was very eager to eat because I decidedly did not eat for the entire day until this moment so I had the room to handle the sheer quantity of bow destroying food at my disposal. So as you can see I'm pulling out all three objects. I assume those were the enchiladas or whatever they're called. I'm honestly, I don't remember these names. Um, so uh, we started with the burrito because that is the tastiest sounding one. Um, Oh no, we started with the tacos. Okay, uh, yes, we started with the tacos, I mean. And, um, yeah, honestly, I didn't like the tacos. I think I've only ever had Old El Paso, you know, the Old Woolies, Old El Paso tacos before. These ones didn't have near as much flavor, so I didn't like them. The burrito, on the other hand, now, that is an object of edibility. Not as good as a Zambrero's or a kebab, even. Uh, but it's definitely the kind of food I'd be happy to eat and chuck in a wrap better than what I'd make at home, which just makes me want to get that stir fry I made and chug it in a wrap and see if it would be as good, but I'm not willing to try, sucked in audience. Um, I do eat the entire thing, which I was really just that hungry on it, I didn't eat the entire day and I was just walking around Perth for hours. I'm pretty sure I was just in a duster and I just bought an $8 katana and learned to play From Little Things Big Things Grow when I was at Perth and just walked around doing that in spite of never playing guitar before, it was great. I learned the ukulele so I knew how to strum at least. Um, and then we got this little little thing, I don't know what they, I've already forgotten what it's called but um. I gave that a go. It was alright. It was it basically was a cheesy. It was one of those cheesies you get at friggin' at, at primary school, early high school that I completely forgot existed until I had to do slum or not placements and practice sessions at a, at a local school for I was studying, 
and is like, holy crap, cheesies at the canteen, which I didn't know existed. Oh, I did, but I forgot. God, that took me a trip down memory lane. Um, ooh, and then we got the fucking Hexacon of Doom, um, which I believe was spicy by memory, but I can't quite remember. I, I was struggling at this point. I was quite full. Turns out not eating the whole day doesn't actually multiply your ability to eat because your stomach's still the same size. That's my review. So, uh, victory lap. I feel like Australia's current immigration policy, too much is coming in and I just don't have the infrastructure to handle it. <coughs> Be wary, traveller. Where for you, bad food lies? Deep within the charcoal belt, a yank's dungeon of dispute. There it lies. Give us your review on the taco. Zero old El Paso tacos out of ten. Okay. Why, why, is the, why does the taco have zero old El Paso tacos out of ten? Because an old El Paso taco is better. Fight me in the comments. Do it. It helps my algorithm. Hmm. What about the burrito? How, how would you score that? Between four and six sambreros. Four and six sambreros. Out of? Out of? Jolton. Out of Jolton. But what about... Why, why do you think it's a four out of, four and four out of six sambreros? Between okay. four and six sambreros. Out of June. And why is that? I don't know, but I see dots in me eyes. <laughs> wow. He's that full. Uh, what about the quesadilla? <laughs> it's mayonnaise is spicy. Right. It's the mayonnaise is spicy. <laughs> I wish to crawl into a fetal position and rock back and forth until time passes on. The illages are coming. The illages are coming. It's an epic gamer quote. Okay guys. Say in the comments, what's better, north of the river or south of the river? Uh, I'm gonna say south. I mean, just because Mandra's there. Well, not just Mandra, you got K-Hole Town. Oh, we ain't south of the river, are we? Yeah. Well, what the hell's north of the river? You're north of the river right now, you moron. Why do they call it Midland if it's north? Because it's in the middle of the land. What land? I want to eat. I know. Only thing I land these days are bad pugs. I don't want to eat another taco. Not in mid What should people do after they watch this video? Read Ebbett's Ooh. Power and Justice. Or manufacturing consent, or if better, Mum Again by Andy Griffith. Ah, All three of them are equally good. So spicy! Oh, yeah, subscribe to Loom Shorts. It's a new channel I made that has all my short videos on. Wait, what about the other channels that Loom Baby, I just want it's some. A su it's a super El Paso, some bloody El Paso. Especially not podcasts, because that's too obviously a subscribe. <laughs> I'm trying to make a song about tacos. Oh. <laughs>